Ag Expert Accounting helps farmers and agribusinesses manage their finances efficiently. This tutorial will guide you through your initial setup from creating an account to starting your first transactions. Before using Ag Expert Accounting, you will need to create an FCC Ag Expert account. First, visit agexpert.ca, click Sign Up in the top right corner, and fill out the necessary fields and verify your account by email. Next, log into your account. You'll be presented with options to access either Ag Expert field or Ag Expert accounting. Let's click Go to Accounting and go through the initial setup wizard together. Enter your legal business name, the province this business operates from, and select your business type. Please note that this setting cannot be changed after the setup wizard is complete. Select the end date of the earliest fiscal year you wish to start entering books for, and remember that we cannot add data previous to this fiscal year. Click Next. Select the crops you wish to produce. This will populate your chart of accounts with the appropriate accounts to save you time. Click Next. Select the commodities of the products you wish to produce. You can always customize this information later if need be. Click Next. Click Start using Ag Expert to finalize the setup wizard. Let's explore Ag Expert Accounting. By default, you'll be brought to the dashboard. You can click Dashboard on the left to return to the dashboard. Here you will see quick links to tasks to aid you setting up your set of books. On the top of the page, we'll find a drop-down menu to see the business you have open, a drop-down menu to see, change, or add the desired fiscal year you want to work on, a question mark for help resources, and lastly, a profile button where you can find a link to business information to edit your business information, download a migration tool, and share data with our support team if necessary. You'll also find a link under the profile icon called My Account, and here you can come to change your password or other important information. The orange action or plus button at the top of the screen is where you can quickly go to enter transactions. Next, let's click Chart of Accounts on the left. Here you can customize your accounts that you'll be using during your bookkeeping. The accounts are divided in five categories, assets, liabilities, equity, income, and expense accounts. To get started, first choose the appropriate category at the top. You can add group accounts and then add sub accounts to them, or simply add individual accounts. Group accounts allow you to keep your accounts organized. Click add account to create a new account. Enter the account number, account name, and select the account type. Fill out any other information as necessary. Click Save to add the account. To create a sub-account under an existing account group, simply click Add Account Above or Add Account to Group and select the group from the drop-down menu. Enter the remaining required details and click Save. To edit an account, simply return to the chart of accounts, click on the account, make the changes, and click Save. To delete an account, simply click on it and click Delete below. Please note that accounts with existing transactions or references cannot be deleted. Lastly, you can renumber an account by simply returning to the chart of accounts, clicking on the account you wish to change and changing the account number. Click Save. The next step in getting started is to set your opening balances. From the left-hand menu, select Chart of Accounts and click the Set Opening Balances button. Here you can search for a specific account and use the filter above to narrow down your search. Click in the Opening Balance field and enter the opening balance for that account. Repeat this step for the next account. Inventory accounts will need to have a total value and a quantity value in order to be saved. For accounts receivable or accounts payable, click the Set Opening Balances button. The outstanding invoices will need to be set up individually for each customer or supplier. You will need to offset the opening balance against the account the change would have been for and in some cases, the offsetting amount might have to be entered with a negative value. Remember, a debit or a credit will behave differently for the different types of accounts. For instance, a debit to an asset or an expense account will increase the balance, and a debit to a liability, equity, or an income account will decrease the balance instead. And in order to record a transaction or an opening balance, the debits must always equal the credits. 
Let's clarify this further and take the example of setting up a historical receivable charge for GST. Select the CRA GST receivable contact, click Add, and now select the 1298 GST paid account. Because the account's receivable is an asset, and we're doing a debit to this account to increase the charge, and the offsetting account is also an asset, we will need to enter a negative value to the GST paid account. This will ensure that our charge is entered as a positive amount. Click Save. Repeat the step for each other contact and click Close to return to the previous screen. Continue through entering the remaining opening balances. The opening balances must be balanced with each other in order to be saved and will otherwise be offset to the retained earnings account automatically. Click Save. You can return to this screen at any time during the first fiscal year in your set of books by going back to the chart of accounts and clicking the Set Opening Balances button. Next, let's take a look at Sales on the left. Here you can click Transactions to view, edit, or enter all your receivable charge and deposit transactions, print, and email invoices, or click Customers to view all your customers and generate statements for them. Purchases is where you can click Transactions to view, edit, or enter all your payable charges and withdrawal transactions, print checks, or click Suppliers to view all your suppliers and your outstanding charges due. Payroll is where you can find all tasks related to payroll, such as managing your employees, creating paychecks, processing your remittances, and everything else related to payroll, such as generating T4s and an ROE report. Banking is where you can go to manage your bank accounts, connect to one of our partners to import transactions, perform bank reconciliations, enter bank transfers, and import transactions from a QuickBooks, Quicken, or a CSV file. Taxes is where you can go to generate and view your tax returns. Inventory is where you can go to view your inventory and enter inventory adjustments, and clicking Advanced Inventory to manage your adjustments as they relate to agri-stability. Planning is where you can access the budget and cash flow tools. Reports is where you can access all the reports AgExpert offers. You can click the pin button to pin your favorite reports to the top of the page for quick access. Continuing down the left-hand pane, the More menu contains several extra features. Capital Assets is where you can add and manage all your capital assets and your capital cost allowance settings. Enterprises is where you can add and manage all your business enterprises and their corresponding percentage allocations. My Farm Connect is where you can go to explore and integrate with one of our many partners. General Journal is where you can go to enter general journal entries, typically used at the end of the year to adjust your account balances. Sharing is where you can go to share your data with your business partners or your accountant. And lastly, the Switch to Field button allows you to quickly switch to our Ag Expert Field product, a robust farm record keeping app. Once you have set up your chart of accounts and your opening balances, generally the next step is to set up your capital assets and your capital cost allowance. From here, we can start to enter transactions. Let's explore the transaction entry. The transaction entry screen in Ag Expert Accounting allows you to record various financial transactions without needing to understand double entry accounting. The interface is divided into two main sections. The top section area captures general transaction details such as date, reference number, and transaction type. The bottom section is where you can input specific line items, including accounts affected, amounts, and descriptions. AgExpert automatically updates the appropriate ledger accounts based on your entries, streamlining the accounting process. AgExpert supports five primary transaction types. Withdrawal transactions represent transactions where the money was withdrawn from a bank account, usually for a purchase or a loan payment. Deposit transactions represent transactions where the money was deposited to a bank account, usually for a sale or loan addition. Bank transfer transactions represent transactions for money transferred between accounts. Payable charges are transactions representing purchases made on credit. And receivable charges are transactions representing sales made on credit. Each type tailors the entry fields to suit the nature of the transaction. Select the orange banner above. You can access all the types of transactions in this screen. Let's select withdrawal and go through the example of a typical farm expense. Starting from the top of the screen, pick a supplier. 
enter a reference number for the transaction. This is an optional field, but it can be used for either a check or an invoice number. Select the calendar button and choose the date of the transaction. You can enter the total withdrawn from the bank account, however, the system will automatically calculate this for you if left blank. Next, select one of the 18 line types. In most cases, withdrawal entries will be for an asset purchase, a capital asset purchase, a loan payment, an expense, a credit card payment, a payable payment, or a personal drawing line type. Enter a description for the line item and enter the amount. You can select the drop down arrow under the tax column to choose one of several tax calculation options. Click add a new row or the tab button on your keyboard to add a new row. A transaction can have many rows and any combination of line types will work as long as the total debits match the total credits. Click save and next to record the transaction and proceed to a new entry or click save and close to record the entry and return to the previous screen. Now let's take a look at a deposit entry. Select the orange banner above and select Deposit. Starting from the top of the screen, pick a customer. Enter a reference number for the transaction. Again, this is an optional field and can be used for either a check or invoice number. Select the calendar button and choose the date of the transaction. Select one of the 18 line types. In most cases, deposit entries will be for an asset sale, a capital asset sale, a loan addition, income, a receivable payment, or a personal advance line type. Enter a description for the line item and enter the amount. You can select the drop down arrow under the tax column to choose one of several tax calculation options. Click add a new row or hit the tab button on your keyboard to add a new row. Again, a transaction can have many rows and any combination of line types will work as long as the total debits match the total credits. Click save and next to record the transaction and proceed to a new entry, or click Save and Close to record the entry and return to the previous screen. To edit a transaction, simply click Purchases or Sales on the left, and then Transactions, find the entry, click on it, make the appropriate changes, and click Save. Alternatively, you can click on the entry and click Reverse to delete the entry. To summarize today's video, the very first step to get started with Ag Expert Accounting is to sign up for an account. The next step is to customize your chart of accounts. The next step is to set your opening balances and add all of your contacts. From here, you can start entering your capital assets or proceed to enter transactions. And that's it. As you can see, AgExpert is solid, simple, and built for the farm. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact our customer care team at 1-800-667-7893.